Zach is back with a Hulu Horror Original Review. So Wounds is actually a very unsettling body horror movie that can be a little confusing sometimes personally. The movie's supposed to be shrouded in like heavy metaphors, but we'll get to that in a second. First, let's talk about the story. So in this movie, we start off following Will, played by Army Hammer, I think that's how you pronounce it. And every time I say his name, I think Arm and Hammer, like the detergent. Will works at Rosie's, which is like a local bar in New Orleans. In this bar, Rosie's might be the worst bar in the whole world. Basically, this is what the bar consists of. Naked people in the bar, and the reason why there's naked people in this particular bar is because you get free drinks if you're naked, which kind of seems like a lose-lose situation personally for me. There's also a crazy roach problem. There's just like fucking roaches everywhere in this bar. It just doesn't make any sense. And they just kind of are okay with bar fights in this bar. So it's bar fights, roaches, and naked people. Oh, and uh, let me don't make me forget underage drinking. The the bartender's just like f it. I'm just gonna give uh, booze to these like 16 year olds or whatever. So they have all that. I guess they need the 16 year olds there to be like buying the booze because. I mean, personally speaking, I'm not going to go there to get anything to drink because there's naked people, cockroaches, and bar fighting, so that's a, that's a no for me, fam. But other than Will's whack-ass job, he's a pretty normal guy and pretty seriously charismatic. Like, he kind of seems like a nice dude you'd like to hang out with. I mean, he works, he goes home, he goes to his ordinary home, he comes back to his ordinary home and hangs out with his ordinary girlfriend. Her, his, I guess his girlfriend's named Carrie in this movie. Carrie's played by uh, Dakota Johnson, the Fifty Shades of Grey girl, or AKA the really, really bad actor. And the only thing I know her from is Fifty Shades of Grey, because my wife told me to go. Yeah, it was, it was my wife, right? But no, she's just, I don't like her as an actor. She's just kind of a bad actor in my opinion, but that's just kind of my opinion. You might like her, I don't care. Anyways, moving on. But other than that, Will doesn't really have any service level problems. He flirts maybe a little too much with the the customers at his bar, especially this one girl named Alicia, but other than that, he's a pretty so-and-so guy. But time to get into the horror, though. The horror aspect of this movie comes a little after this bar fight that happens in this shitty-ass bar. One of the regulars in the bar gets in a bar fight with another customer, and he gets stabbed in the face with a broken bottle, so that's pretty gross, and it looks pretty effed up. Like, you know, he, he got stabbed pretty good. Will's like, yo, you can't be stabbing people in my uh, my shitty bar or whatever, so I'm gonna have to call the police. So I guess a lot of these people are like convicted felons or something like that, so they all just leave the bar, even including some of the teenagers that are underage, because, you know, cops, you know, I'm underage, I can't be drinking here, so they leave too. One of the underage drinkers leaves the phone at the bar accidentally when he's leaving because the police are showing up, and Will finds the phone, grabs it, and takes it home with him. Back at Will's place, the phone starts buzzing, and like a tech wizard, he looks at the shine on the phone, sees the smudges on the phone, you know, like where he, how he puts the code, does it like some sort of tech wizard, and then opens the phone because he's awesome. After unlocking the phone like the genius that he is, he looks at the phone, he sees the text message from some kid named Garrett screaming for help. But Will's like, man, this is just some shitty teen prank, I don't care, I mean, I know it says I'm scared on the phone, and please help and things like that, you know, it's best to ignore those little things. I mean, those little tiny things like that. Next day, uh, next day, Carrie, Will's girlfriend, wakes up, sees the phone on the counter, is suspicious of it, because that's how girlfriends are, takes up the phone, and is like, well, whose phone is this? And Will's like, well, it's some kid's phone. I just kind of took it, because I, I didn't know what to do with it. Garrett gives her the password. She opens up the phone and sees a new picture from Garrett. And let's just say that they might be talking to a serial killer. <laughs> it's the best way I can explain it. I'm going to stop it right there for the story. I don't want to go any further than that. That's just kind of the gist of it. But the later parts in the movie does not feel grounded in reality like that point in the movie that I just described. It's kind of weird. This movie feels off in a good way. It almost feels like he's either like in the Matrix, in Limbo, or in a dream sequence. It's kind of weird. It's very hard to explain without giving spoilers away. But if you watch the later parts of the movie, it feels a lot like that. Everything that happens in this movie is actually quite interesting, like actually very interesting, but they never explain anything in this movie, which can be a good and a bad thing. Like, there is literally no conclusion to any part of this movie, nothing. Like, you'll, you'll not get any answers for anything in this movie. 
I mean, it's it's one of those movies, if you know what I mean. 100% of this movie is up to interpretation, and the best way I can explain this movie is it almost feels like a piece of modern art. Like, it's really interesting to look at and watch for entertainment purposes, but I know a bunch of pompous pricks will say how deep and meaningful this movie is for some reason. Mark my words, there is no deeper meaning in this movie. There is none. Like, just mark my words on that. There's no way to explain how any of these things even really connect with each other. It's just a bunch of random creepy shit on the screen. And it's thoroughly entertaining. Like, me and my wife watch it with, like, basically no complaints. But you gotta go into the movie kind of knowing that. Don't expect any explanations, and don't try to look deeper in the movie like there's some sort of, like, deep meaning, like, really in-depth deep meaning in the movie. There's not. Like, I'm pretty good with metaphors and stuff like that. Like, I love metaphors in movies and stuff like that, and I really crawl to find that stuff. I played Dark Souls. I don't know if you've played Dark Souls. Dark Souls has a lot of things you have to search for when it comes to lore and, like, what meanings are for certain things and a bunch of shit like that, and I love that shit. This movie is not... There's nothing there when it comes to that, but, like, I even looked up, like, I was like, maybe I'm just not getting it, you know what I mean? I even looked up, like, some of the director cut sort of stuff and, like, what people were trying to go for in the movie, and there were so many random explanations. Like, one was like, oh, it's about uh, sexism and misogyny, and another person's like, I think it's about depression, and the other one's like, I think it's about cheating and things like that, and there's so many contradictory, like, things explained in this movie. It, all it is is a piece of modern art. Just realize that it's about your own interpretation. There's really no, like, like focused meaning for the movie. You're just gonna, you're end up, you're gonna end up, like, just putting whatever your own thoughts are onto the movie and thinking it's that. That's, that's the movie. Don't get me wrong, the movie's thoroughly entertaining, but don't think of it as some sort of thought-provoking piece, because it's not there. For its entertainment value, this movie absolutely deserves a B. It's a fun movie to watch. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you've already seen the movie, comment below and think, like, you know, explain to me what you thought the movie is, because I'm going to get a lot of different answers if you guys comment. Please click the little bell because I'm going to be doing more horror movies in the future and I'm going to go ahead and uh, post them pretty soon. So if you want to see more, please keep in touch and click the little bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and see ya!